lipoma so what is lipoma it's so it is a so common condition which we come across so what is it so it is a benign neoplasm arising from yellow fat now if you know adult human beings has got mainly yellow fat brown fat is commonly in the fetus it not in adult so benign tumor arising from the yellow fat is called as lipoma often it can be hyperplasia or combination of neoplasm and hyperplasia it may be hyperplasia or combination of that what it contains it contains mature adipocyte with uniform nuclei which are identical to those seen in normal adult fat so this is it looks like same like a normal adult fat but certain difference is there because it is a neoplastic condition fat in the lipoma considered unavailable for general medicine is very very important fat which is normal is available for all those metabolic activity but fat in the lipoma is not available for metabolic activity of the person of the or of the patient so that is the difference otherwise it looks similar but it is hyperplasia or it is a neoplasm it is most common benign tumor in the body that is why it is called as universal tumor or ubiquitous tumor so if somebody asks what is the universal tumor your answer should be lipoma or what is ubiquitous tumor your answer should be lipoma so because it is a most common benign tumor in the body and that is why you have to know you must know about lipoma either in the theory aspect or in the clinical side or in the examination part whatever it is so it can be localized or diffuse i will show these photos then you will have the idea what is the meaning of localized and diffuse now local lipoma lipoma is encapsulated with the yellowish orange color diffuse lipomas are not encapsulated and not localized where it is common it is common in the palm sole back and so on sole head and neck it is usually this uh, diffuse lipomas are seen in the subcutaneous plane and intermuscular tissues and not in other places unlike because lipoma can occur anywhere in the body except in the in the brain so it is difficult to remove surgically and again a diffuse lipoma recurrence is high after incomplete removal because there is no capsule otherwise usual lipoma has got traditional lipoma has got a capsule whereas in diffuse lipoma no capsule so technically removal is difficult so it may recur also so again lipoma can be superficial superficial means under the skin or it may be very deep deep to the muscle or into the in the joint or in the inside of the abdominal cavity and so on so it may be superficial or deep so what are the superficial lipomas they are more common remember this is visible also on the surface common in the subcutaneous plane it is commonly seen in the back neck extremities abdomen it is usually less than 5 cm but can attain very large size like a giant very large size there is no gender predisposition remember it is equal in males and females as there is many diseases many swellings are more common in males or some swellings are more common in females but it is not so here it's equal in both sexes but benign tumor arising from the brown fat is called as hibernoma it is very rare that's why i said lipoma is benign tumor arising from the yellow fat whereas if benign tumor arising from the brown fat it is called as hibernoma remember brown fat is not commonly existing in the adult once once after uh, child born uh, and then then automatically brown fat is replaced by the yellow fat but sometimes some places brown fat may be retained like that uh, so if it is so then it may turn into neoplasia then it is called as hibernoma that is it's a very dark brown color unlike uh, yellow fat uh, lipoma so there is a difference see this is the typical look look at that it is a caps encapsulated large lipoma look tip it look at the uh, look at the look very clear and this is hibernoma see that it's a brown it's very rare if i if i have done hundreds of lipoma surgery i might have seen one or two hibernoma uh, uh, cases or hibernoma swellings so it is rare not common rare color is different see that this is the this is in the nape of the neck so one of the common sight large lipoma see in the back also it is quite common see that's very well localized so again in the buttock it's quite large it is see this is the diffuse lipoma see i already told it not there is no capsule properly so it is it's not well defined margin is not well defined not very clear it's ill defined 
so again diffuse lipoma in the back so back and sole palm is the common site for diffuse lipoma this is a well localized one so deeper lipomas once you have discussed about the superficial lipoma it's very common we see these things regularly we operate now you have to think of deep lipoma also deep lipomas are commonly intramuscular inside of the muscle but often uh, intramuscular between the two muscles you know that there are so many layers of muscle there will be there either in the limb or anywhere chest wall abdominal wall so it can be within the muscle or in between the muscle intramuscular within the muscle intramuscular or sometimes deep to the muscle plane submuscular so in all these planes it can occur or sometimes both intra and intramuscular infiltrating lipoma it is called it it can occupy inside the muscle and it also occupy deep to the muscle so intra and inter this is called infiltrating lipoma so it doesn't mean that it is malignancy so this infiltrating word which is commonly used in malignancy but it is not so here infiltrating lipoma is not malignant it's benign only that means there is a muscle extending from the inside and also deeper to that or outer to that now these deep lipomas are common in the lower limb that is intra intramuscular intramuscular trunk shoulder and upper limb they attain large size compared to superficial lipoma they attain very large size and many times a patient may not won't notice these uh, large lipomas because they deep to the muscle unnoticed unlike superficial lipomas they are more common in men i said superficial lipoma is equal in both uh, sexes whereas deep lipomas are more common in men lipoma can be remember again a classification lipoma can be single or multiple like neurofibroma can be multiple so many conditions sebaceous can be multiple like that lipoma can be single or multiple single lipoma is common and it is superficial commonly but can be deep also multiple lipoma what is the incidence of multiple lipoma 15% and it is common in males remember multiple lipomas are common in males i said superficial lipoma it's equal deep lipoma more common in males and again multiple lipoma is more common in males